Welcome to www.learnquickbooksfree.com. That's right. This is where you get to learn QuickBooks for free. Hello, Lita. How are you? Received your question, which reads, Hi, Professor. That is wonderful. But I wonder if we can go and change the data after we reconcile. Well, first off, Lita, I must say, I love the fact that you called me Professor. That's the first for me, a little honorary title. Um, and second of all, uh, there are some things you can change, and there's some things you cannot change. And if you do so, it kind of messes up the previous reconciliation. But just for calling me Professor, I'm going to do you a little QuickBooks video right now. So let's go over to QuickBooks. So we are in QuickBooks. I will go to Banking, Reconcile. You'll notice over here, it says that this was last reconciled on 331. Okay, so we know that we have an example to feed off over here. First thing I'm going to do is uh, locate discrepancies. Uh, and down here under locate discrepancies, you'll see that you have a couple buttons. First thing you can do is discrepancy report. You can see right now it's blank. That means that everything is cherry. And over here we will go to previous report. We will go to this only one that we've done over here. I'll do detail, hit display. I'm going to open this up over here. And there we have our little report. Actually, I'm going to open this up even more. OK. So let's go ahead and mess with one of these things and see if it actually messes anything up. So we're going to go ahead and mess with this check over here. We'll, we'll mess with check 106. So let me just make this window a little bit smaller. I'm going to go to bank, write checks. I'm going to find check 106 right over here. There we go. Now, if you change the amount, that's definitely going to mess something up. Okay, but there are other things you can change. Uh, you can change the date. So if we make it 1 6, hit save and close, hit yes, hit yes, save anyways. We'll go back to our discrepancy report, and there is nothing there. Everything is still fine. If we go to cancel, back to banking, reconcile you will see that everything's still the same. The amount, 66, 799, 84, that's still the same. So things like the date you can change. However, when you change the amount, let's give that a try. So now we will go back to, we'll cancel out of here. We'll go back to banking, write checks. Let's find that check 106. And now we're gonna make it from 1200 to 1100. Hit save and close, hit yes, hit yes, save anyways. Now if I go back to banking, reconcile, and basically what we notice over here is that our begin beginning balance is different. It's not 799, it's 899, which may be wrong. Uh, but the idea basically is that you have to find out uh, what's not matching anymore so you can undo their last reconciliation. And really, one more thing to look at is this locate discrepancy once again, discrepancy report. Right now, once again, there's nothing, but uh, this is one place to find out if something's been erased or so whatnot. So this is a good place to look at. Uh, if you can't figure it out on where the discrepancy is, and uh, you've gone to your old and you just can't figure it out, sometimes the best thing to do is to undo the last reconciliation. Uh, and when you undo that, that means you're going to just basically have to reconcile that previous month to get that back to in good standing, and then you can proceed from there. I'm not going to continue right now. Uh, but that's really the idea. So uh, if it's the amount that you have to change, that's definitely going to change something around. If it's the date uh, or if it's the type of uh, account you wanted to go under, whether it was a, this expense versus that expense, uh, those kind of things uh, should be 
okay to go to change just uh, main thing to look at is the amount that's number one and first and foremost all right hope this helps see you guys on the next video and that concludes this lesson uh, you can visit our website at www.learnquickbooksfree.com to watch more videos